Let's translate Acts 13 verses 38 and 39. Noston un esto imin. Andres Adelphi oti diatutu imin a thesis amartion katan gelete. Ke apo ponton on uk idinithite en nomo moisios dikeothine. En tuto pas o pestevon dikeute. Therefore, let it be known to you, men, brothers, that through this one to you forgiveness of sins is proclaimed, and from all things which could not in the law of Moses justify. In this one, everyone who believes is justified. Therefore, let it be known to you. Then we have our vocative here, Andres Adelphi, that I'm going to put it over here to show that it's actually relating to no stone. Let it be known. What needs to be known? That through this one. Now, normally I don't put dia uh, on its own, but I'm going to do that here and I'll show you later why. That dia tutu, our subject is here. Amartion modifies the subject, so forgiveness of sins has been made known to you. Okay. So for or through this one, forgiveness of sins has been made known to you. And put it right here. Now, what I'm going to do is move this over here here just for now so from all things which could not save or I'm sorry justify in the law of Moses okay so we have this clause because through this one, forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Then we have this odd from all things which uh, could not, you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Okay. Then we have and two toe in this one everyone who believes is justified so we have this interesting setup in greek where this phrase comes last this phrase comes first but actually in terms of english this is the this is our primary phrase right here this one is all secondary to this one so if i want to smooth this out in english i'm going to move this just like that and now i'm going to move it up Just like that. So we have, therefore, let it be known to you, men, brothers, that, what needs to be made known? That through this one, and this is pointing to Jesus, forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. And in this one, still pointing to Jesus, everyone who believes is justified 
from everything which you could not be freed. I'm sorry, you could not be justified in the law of Moses. So there's some interesting things going on syntactically here. Number one, we have utos here pointing to Jesus in the broader context. First, we have a genitival phrase. Second, we have a dative phrase. This one's a prepositional phrase. This one's also a prepositional phrase. This one being from dia plus genitive. This one being from dative plus uh, n or n plus dative. In this genitival phrase, this is attached to forgiveness of sins. And the main verb is katangelete, so to proclaim, to announce. Realistically, diatuto falls underneath katangelete. So this announcement is through Jesus. This proclamation is through Jesus. Diatuto, diatutu in this case, is marking personal agency. Jesus is the agent who brings about this proclamation. This proclamation of what? Forgiveness of sins. So to put it actively, Jesus proclaims forgiveness of sins. Then we have en tuto. En tuto is dative and it's marking instrumentality. And this is in terms of location. And in this location, this is where the specific action occurs. Jesus is not only the instrument, but Jesus is the location in which the action occurs. What action? Dikeute. This is justification. It is in Jesus that everyone who believes is justified. And what are they justified? They, they are justified from everything which could not free them in the law of Moses. So the law of Moses proves to be ineffectual for bringing about justification. And yet it is in Jesus where this justification is found. Note the N contrast. We have N tuto in this one versus N nomo versus in the law. In the law of what or who? Of Moses. N nomo mosios. So we have in Jesus versus in the law of Moses. The law of Moses was ineffectual. It could not justify. But in Jesus, everyone who believes is justified. So, therefore, let it be known to you, men, brothers, that through this one, forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. And in this one, everyone who believes is justified from everything which you could not be freed which you could not be justified with the law of Moses. I want to pause for a moment just to point out that you can go get one of these hats. Kyrios Jesus means Jesus is Lord in Greek. Go over to my Stream Elements site, pick one up for yourself today, but let's get back to it. Now, before we dive into the vocabulary, let's take a look at the textual variant because we see K is highlighted with brackets. So K is bracketed because the witnesses are divided. So Vaticanus and the third corrector of Ephraimi and Laudians 35, the majority text, they include K. Papyri 74, Alex Alexandrinus, the original hand of Ephraimi and Sinaiticus, Bizet, these all omit K. K needs to be there. 
So there's no reason why it would fall out. Rather, it would have been omitted and then later added in because it should be there. The reason why it's in brackets is because the attestation amongst the witnesses is is fairly strong on both sides. And so the editors included it, but put it in brackets to show that it's hotly debated. Translationally, we need it because it's joining our dia tutu and our apopantone phrases. Well, in in actuality, it's joining dia tutu and our n tuto. But in terms of determining the original text, it probably wasn't there, at least in terms of the witnesses we have. There's no reason why it should drop out. So it's very possible that although it was intended to be there, when Papyri 74 and whoever wrote Sinaiticus and Alexandrinus and Ephraim and Bizet, maybe they skipped it for some reason. In any case, it's not of utmost importance. Let me know in the comments below, do you think ke should be included? Let me know. Now, let's dive into the vocabulary. Nostone, this is nostos. This is the cognate to uh, gnosko, to know. This is the noun. In, in actuality, this is not a noun, it's, it's an adjective. So it means to per pertaining to being familiar or known, that is known. And this can be used of things, which is the case here with OT following. So that matches what we have. Un, our post positive un, this is therefore, it's a particle never found at the beginning of a sentence. In our literature, it is an inferential and then mainly a transitional conjunction. So inferential denoting that what it introduces is the result of or an inference from what proceeds. So therefore, consequently, accordingly, then. It's not a command, it's not a question. It could be a marker of continuation of a narrative. Uh, this doesn't seem to be the case. We're not moving forward in the narrative. It could be emphatic based on older Greek usage. Certainly, really, to be sure. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case here. Or it could be adversative. That doesn't seem to be the case. So we're going to stick to the first one. Therefore, esto, this is third singular present imperative of imi. And since it's imperative and third person singular, we're going to use let. Let it be known to you. Imin is second person plural dative, so this is our indirect object. Let it be known to you. Then we have Andres Adelphi. Now I translated this loosely before as men brothers. Uh, however, there's an interesting usage of Andres here, Anir, in contrast to woman, in contrast to boy, used with a word indicating national or local origin calling attention to a single individual or even individualizing the plural. This seems to be the case here, hence in address. Hey, that's that's exactly what we're dealing with. The singular is omitted in translation. The plural is rendered men or gentlemen. In direct address, it's esteemed people of a certain place. So you can see anir Ethiop, Ethiops, uh, anir Persis, Anir Freaks, An, uh, we have Birosos Anir Babylonios, Anir Athenae, Athenae, Anir Galilei, Anir Ephesi, Ephesii, Anir Judeos, Anir Judei, Anir Israelite. So you can see it's almost almost functioning like men of Judea, uh, men of Israel, uh, men of Ephesus, men of men of Galilee. So what's interesting though is this is the individualizing of the plural. So it uses the plural, but the emphasis is on the individual. So I'm just going to translate this as brothers. No, no sense in putting men, brothers. Uh, and it's really putting emphasis here on the individuals within the crowd. So, brothers, that, dia tutu. 
So this is Utos, Dia, with the genitive, marker of extension via through, marker of extension in time, marker of instrumentality or circumstance, marker of person of agency, through or by. So you can translate this through this one or by this one, but it's pointing to Jesus. By this one, to you, forgiveness, Ephesus. So this is release, pardon, cancellation. You can see Acts 13, 38 right here. So this is the act of freeing from an obligation, guilt, or punishment. So translate it as pardon or cancellation. And specifically, it's of sins. So you can see here, Amartion, forgiveness of sins, i.e. cancellation of the guilt of sin. Katangelete. So this is katangelo. To make known in public with implication of broad dissemination. Proclaim, announce. So this is to broadly proclaim publicly forgiveness of sins. Okay, and apo. So this is marker to indicate a separation from a place, whether person or thing, from, away from. Well, we're not dealing with a place, but it is somehow this idea of separation to indicate the point from which something begins. Well, we're not talking about origin. Source, I'm not talking about source. Distance from a point, away from. That does seem to be the case here. To be far from someone, a great distance detailed measurements. So this one has to do with presence. Well, we're not really talking about presence. Cause, means, or outcome. So this is generally to show the reason for something, because of, as a result of, for, or it could be means with the help of, with, motive or reason, for, from. This could be the case. To indicate the originator of the action denoted by the verb, from. To indicate the responsible agents for something, from from others with verbs in the passive voice or passive meaning. Ipo is sometimes replaced by apo. Now we do have some passive verbs here, so maybe this is the case. It just at this point, the textual tradition varies considerably and the ch choice of preposition is probably at times influenced by the wish to express special nuances of meaning. Apo frequently denotes the one who indirectly originates an action and can be translated at the hands of by command of. None of these really seem to work. Let's start back at the top. Marker to indicate separation from a place, whether person or thing. Well, it could be separation from a thing. In this case, separation from all those things that you could not be justified from in the law of Moses. Now, this is saying with all verbs denoting motion. So, DKO does not signify any sort of motion and it's not listed here with all verbs expressing the idea of separation i don't think with here we go with verbs which express the concept of separation in the wider sense like loose free acquit and others and here's our verb so this is it right here I, idea of separation marker to indicate the separation from a place whether person or thing and this is pas, pas, pas upon, each, every, all. And then we have os, who, that, which, our relative pronoun. In this case, it's plural genitive, neuter, matching what, what we have in pas. And then our negative particle, and then diname. So this is second person plural aorist passive indicative. You can see here it means to possess capability, whether because of personal or external factors, for experiencing or doing something. So you'd normally translate it can, am able, be capable. But notice it very quickly comes up with an infinitive following. And we have aorist infinitive, which is what we have here. We have dikiothene, which is aorist passive infinitive. So following beta here, imperfect this could have been sold. So it has this idea of could. You could not DKO. This is to take up a legal cause, show justice, do justice, take up a cause, to render a favor favorable verdict, vindicate, 
or to cause someone to be released from personal or institutional claims that are no longer to be considered pertinent or valid. Make free or pure. In our literature, passive, to be set free, made pure, from. So here's oppo. This is why oppo is used. As we saw before, it's tied to dikeo. And so in this sense, it's to be freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. So from everything which you could not be freed in the law of Moses or by the law of Moses. In nomo, marker of a position, marker of a state or condition, marker of extension toward a goal that is understood to be within an area or condition into. Marker of close association within a limit. This could be the case. Marker introducing means or instrument with. It can serve to introduce persons or things that accompany someone to secure an objective along with. Well, it's not really quite along. It can serve to express means or instrumentality in terms of location for a specific action. This is what we were talking about earlier. So unfortunately, what this is saying is the law of Moses as the instrument in terms of location for specific action, that is salvation, holiness, it's, it's not able. It's not able to justify. It's not able to free. But then we have our contrast, en tuto. So en nomo, en tuto. In this one, in Jesus, Jesus being the instrument in terms of location for a specific action. In this one, everyone who believes. We have a substantive here, right? A substantival phrase. So everyone who believes. So pistevo. This is to trust, believe. This is to entrust oneself to an entity in complete confidence. Believe in, trust, with implication of total commitment to the one who is trusted. In our literature, God and Christ are objects of this type of faith that relies on their power and nearness to help, in addition to being convinced that their revelations or disclosures are true. The object is given, but sometimes it is not expressed at all, which is the case here. So this is the absolute pistevin in a transcendent sense. And here's verse 39. So the one, everyone who believes, doesn't say in what, it's implied though that it's in Christ, believes in Christ, is justified. Now this is the third person singular present middle passive indicative. Now in this sense, it's not middle, it's passive in this context. The one who believes is justified and justified by this one, in this one, with this one. So context determines this is going to be the passive, which makes sense because dikeothene here is passive. It flows really nicely. So to translate, therefore, let it be known to you, brothers, that through this man, forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. And by this man, everyone who believes is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. If you liked this video, hit that like button, brush up on your Greek, brush up on your Hebrew, and we'll see you next time.